Larry the Pin Bug Guy here. Welcome back to Larry's Fountain Pins. Today, I will introduce part one of the Baron Fig. Part two will be coming soon. So please, grab a seat, kick back, and check out a new feature of Baron Fig. It's a messenger bag. A pretty cool messenger bag. Peace. Hello everybody. Welcome to Larry's Fountain Pins. I'm Larry the Pin Bug Guy. And today's a very special presentation. I reached out to Baron Fig to inquire about some of their products. Why? Well, I like Baron Fig products. And I don't think they get enough love. So, here's my first item I want to introduce. If you have not seen or heard of it, because I never heard of it until I actually saw it on their website. Here is the Baron Fig Messenger Bag. It's a blue slate messenger bag. The material used is a quality canvas. Quality is a key word. It comes with a strap. You can sling it over your shoulder or it has the straps you can carry it by. And what's cool about this bag, you can wear it if you're dressed up, casual, or just everyday t-shirt, jeans, shorts, whatever. It'll match your attire, however you choose. So let me sit down and tell you a little bit more about it, why I like this bag. Okay, everybody. So, a little bit more about Baron Fig Messenger Bag. Keeping it clean was one of my questions. Because I hate going around with the bag all nappy looking, dirty, nasty. That's just not me. Oh, I don't mind it. But no, I don't like my bag all icky looking. So, I'm told that to keep the bag clean for small marks or stain, uh, you can use a bit of detergent on a wet rag and gently rub them off uh, your bag. So pretend this is a wash rag, have a little detergent, can I just take the mark off, or the dirt, stain, whatever. Now, some of their customers have said they have actually got this bag, throw it in the wash, under gentle cycle, and wash the bag. That's pretty cool. So, that was interesting for me. Now, this bag. As you see, I have to use a cane when I walk because my balance is all off. I like bags that I can put my stuff in, but, you know, I have bags that are too big and bulky. That it's, They're good bags, but they tend to get me off balance or they're, they're big and they're, sometimes I get into a small place and it's not convenient not handy. Yep. Yeah. So, and then there's other bags that are medium, a little, uh, little larger than this. I still have the problem too much bulk. They work well, yes, but still they're just not working for me because I don't have a lot of space when I go somewhere to do what I need to do. This bag when I first got it, I said, well, it might be too small. This is a canvas messenger bag, and they come in three colors. This is the blue slate, and they come in smoke and a fig wine. Now, here's the dimensions on this bag, 15 by 12 by 4. 
and we'll get to the inside in a minute because you may think, well, that bag's too small. I'm going to show you in this video what I have this first time around, and then I'm going to show you in other videos what else you can carry to give you an idea. This bag is canvas. They do have a backpack that opens flat and it's slim and its measurements are 17 inch by 11 by 4. The weight on the backpack is 2.2 pounds and it's a slim, leaner, lighter top type of backpack. Comes in three colors, same as the messenger bag, and the backpack runs for $85. This messenger bag weighs 2.2 pounds, $75. Real quick, they do have a tote canvas bag, same as material as this, uh, uh, and it's a it's big bag. It's small on the outside, but it's big on the inside. And what they say, it's a, a bag that's big on the inside while staying smaller on the outside. And the same colors for the tote bag as you will have on the messenger bag and the backpack. Sorry, I do not have a backpack to show you or a tote bag to show you. But I do have the messenger bag, so that's better than nothing. That'll give you an idea of what Baron Fig products are. Real quick, let me tell you about the shipping. In the U.S., you can get free shipping, yes, free, with $25 and more. Now, that's pretty good. $25 bucks and more free shipping, that helps out a lot. So, back to this bag. Let's see what I have in this bag. So, here we go. Well, in the back of the bag, you have two pockets. Here and here. Whatever, whatever your heart desires. Now, remember, Baron Fig is known for thinkers. They think... They meet as a team. They collect feedback from the community, from people like you and me, that give their thoughts, opinions, comments. And then the team meets, and they all talk about whatever product they're going to develop. And they put everything together. And that's where the thinkers come in. They're thinkers. We all are thinkers. And we put things together that's going to work for us, that's going to meet our needs at home as well as out in the office or out and about. So there are the two bags in the back. Now it comes with a front bag and it's a zipper, nice zippers. I'll, I'll unzip that. But before I do, here's Baron Fig, New York City. And here's the straps that you can carry as a briefcase, or here's the shoulder strap that you can adjust to whatever length you need it. So in the front right now, all I have is my phone. I have a pair of headset and some tape. So that's what's in here. And I do have something, to, oh, in my letter opener. So that's what I keep in there. Now we'll get to the inside of this cool bag. Here's what's cool about it. Don't let the size fool you. Quality bag, convenient, handy, practical. Here is my pin case I carry religiously each day. Here is my 16 ounce tumbler for my Starbucks I use every day and I change them out. Now we're going to go 
what else I carry in here? I better make some room because I'll be carrying stuff. Here's my Hobonichi. Here's my hardback notebook that I carry that I, uh, I log in my pens, my inks, the dates, what ink it is, when it was last used, when I cleaned it out, and that's important to keep handy because I need to know what ink I'm using when. Then here's another hardback notebook that I keep, that I keep uh, all my information that I, I do my reviews on, that I keep everything logged on what's my next review, and I'll do my uh, review remarks and keep them in here. I keep a handy composition notebook in there. And we're not done yet. Put all this aside. Now let's go for the bigger stuff. And here I carry a folder with uh, letters, envelopes, address labels, uh, the paper I use to write with. I keep it all in here. It's all handy. Handy for me to use. A lot of stuff, eh? Next, I keep my iPad. That is a must. Not done. Next, I keep my Tomo River Paper Journal in here. And we're still not done. It has two places in here, actually three pockets inside. One of them I keep a marker, six inch ruler, a gel pen, mechanical cool pencil, and I'll show you the inside in a minute. So, am I done? Not yet. I carry my car keys in here. And my pocket knife, that's a utility knife. It's got scissors and all that cool stuff. So, that's it. So, let me come over here and let you look at the inside of the bag. Here's a one pocket with a zipper. This is the inside. And here's a pocket here, a pocket here, and a bigger pocket here. And here is the main pocket where I keep my bigger stuff at. So, and here is the two outside pockets I was talking about. There is the zipper here. There is the canvas slate blue with the two straps and the shoulder strap. So, this is the same material they use on the backpack, but that's a slimmer larger bag and the same material they use on their tote bag. Yes, you can carry a laptop in there. So this is a, my first video to show you some of the items I carry in here. I will do another presentation with other products in here. Stay tuned. All right, welcome back. Here, take another look on how you can use the bag. I have had the handles and I decided not to go with a sport coat, just dress shirt, short sleeve, bow tie to give it kind of a classy look because I like bow ties. Of course my jeans and tennis shoes, that's how I roll. So, and I like something to look good and feel good when I carry it. And this is the bag, the Baron Fig again but this time with different items in there. So let's get to it. Okay, on the back of the bag, there's two slots like I mentioned in the previous video. But this time I'm carrying the Hobonichi A5 planner in the back. And We'll just take a quick look inside and see what's inside this time to give you kind of an idea of what you may want to carry. Here's my Starbucks with the handle this time, 16 ounce. 
Tomo River Journal, hardback notebook that I uh, log my reviews in, my very thick hardback notebook, My Barrett Fig, but there are three notebooks in this one, so other Barrett Fig notebooks, there's three to a pack. Another Barrett Fig notebook that I'll do my review findings before I transfer them to a different notebook. And here is my Baron Fig Mastermind Week Pass that come in really handy. And I'll get into a review on these later. Here is my iPad, the smaller one. Again, here's my notebook that I carry envelopes, paper, and on the pockets inside, I'll show you real quick. I've got one pen, two fountain pens, a gel pen, and a barren fig pencil. Talk a little bit about the pencil in a minute. And from the zipper, tape envelope opener, and of course, my headphones go with me. I never know when I need them. So, let's put this aside and talk about the pencil. Hope we can see the pencil. No eraser on top. Got the little Baron Fig logo, Baron Fig name on it. So, this is a number two pencil. A little bit different. It's got a good lead quality lead they use in their pencils. And if you notice, there's no eraser on top. Well, why is that? Well, if you have experience with pencil erasers, like I have, the eraser tends to get dry or hard or when you try to erase something it doesn't erase whatever you have written down well and it gets real sloppy and it can even stain the paper depending on that eraser the quality of eraser is just not there on pencils today Baron Fig, I don't have one, but Baron Fig has an answer to that as well. They have their own eraser, quality eraser, that will not do that, that you find with most number two pencil erasers have on top, and they don't last long. So, I'll be back for another quick look. Welcome back, one more time. Last time. So you'll get the general idea. All right, I just threw myself an overnight bag. Uh, I'm going to be going to a, a friend's house. I'm going to crash at his place. So, yep, I got that old cane. But it's a cool cane. But I got my bag, my Baron Fig bag. Really, it's cool. I really do like it a lot. So, I'm going to sit down, and I'll show you what's in this bag. Well, on the back pocket... I'll put my phone in there because I didn't want to put it in my pants pocket. And because it works well in the bag. In the zipper bag, it has the same thing I've been showing you. What? The tape, headphones, and the letter opener. I always keep that in there. I guess it's just a habit. So let's open it up. This time I have my Starbucks cup. I do change out quite often. And my deodorant, can't go out with deodorant, and some of my man stuff, chains of briefs, t-shirt, my loungers, 
They're cool. Of course, you have to have a pair of socks, right? And I do take my uh, measurement uh, caliper. Yep, the caliper. Thank you, Mr. Announcer. I always want to call it a stick. Fountain pens, two of them, yes. And a marker and my cool mechanical pencil. Really is cool. And my Baron Fig rollerball. I left it in here because I will be doing a review on it, but just to show you, I left it in the container it came with and it fit well in one of the pockets I've showed you inside. Just like this. So you have enough room in there. You've got a whole lot of room in there. A whole lot of room in a small, well-designed bag. Messenger bag. Now, are we done? No, no. And I have my notebook with me. So, I'm always carrying something in my bag to suit my needs on whatever occasion I decide I'm going to go to, right? So, again, last but not least, Baron Fig. I call them the thinkers of the, this generation. Baron Fig just doesn't make notebooks or bags or roller balls or paper just to put out to make money. Yes, they do want to make money. They're in the business to make money. So are other people who sell pens, papers, notebooks, journals. That's their business. That's their livelihood. So Baron Fig has to be up on their game. They have to make quality. Some would say they're a bit pricey. I think they're well in range myself. I live on a certain income. I have to stay on that income. But still, I want quality. I can buy a bag for $10, $12, yeah. But it's going to be a piece of junk. It's not going to last long. And whatever I carry inside, are they going to be secure and safe enough? I've had those bags. The question is, no. I, you know, I have bought products abroad that they last long, about maybe, what, five to seven months for a lifetime on it and looking bad, nasty, ripping, all kinds of trouble. So I'd rather get a quality bag from whoever you may choose. Baron Fig is who I choose from. You know, I'm tired of wasting my money on items that just don't perform like they should or last as long as they should. So, if you want something, and it's your money, you spend it however you want. If you want something to last long, that looks good, that fits right, that can hold a lot of stuff that you choose, like as you saw in these three videos, well, I choose Baron Fig. Honestly, again, I did not think that this bag would hold as much as I showed you in three videos. But it does. It's up to you. So, with that said, one more item in this bag that I always carry with me every day I leave this house. It's the most important item of anything I've showed you. And Mr. Announcer, what would that be? Uh. The most important item I need every day to keep track of me. Well, it's not, it's not one of your pens? The most important item for my health is not my pen. Oh, your health. That would be your blood tester kit. Yes. Thank you, Mr. Announcer, finally. Yes, my blood tester kit. And I am not going to edit anything that Mr. Announcer said because that's what he thought it was because I'm a pen freak, right? I always carry my pens wherever I go. But more important than my fountain pens is my diabetic tester. 
I always carry that religiously wherever I go. I need to know what my blood uh, level is before I eat or if I'm feeling kind of weird. You know what I'm saying? So that's going to wrap it up. I hope you like the presentation of this Baron Fig messenger bag. The next video that will be coming up later will be some Baron Fig products. Paper, notebook, roller balls, etc. So stay tuned for that. I hope you enjoy the video. The Go Anywhere bag. The Anytime bag. The bag that looks good, feels good. You can dress up however you want. The bag will look sharp. Male, female, it don't matter. It's cool. It's what's happening now. Join Baron Fig. Be part of the Baron Fig community. You're not paying me to say it. I'm saying it because I am. And I'm glad I had the opportunity to join up with them. I love their stuff. Great stuff. Reasonable price. I think they're fair and in line. If you're tired of buying products because they're really cheap, and I hate that word, so low class, but, you know, if you're buying messenger bags at a few bucks, 10, 12, 15, 20 bucks, 30 bucks, I've been there, done that, my friends, Baron Fig is my way. I hope you found this video helpful, informative, and give you some ideas, those are my ideas, my thoughts, and my opinion. Thank you much for watching. Leave your comments below. Take care. God bless. Peace. Love you guys. I'm out of here.